Morning guys, Mark Parash, Protect Dog Training and No Name. No Name's a small little male. I think he might grow pretty good, but right now that's all the fashion, to be honest with you. A dog with his breeding. Remember, he's had a Rico. I just saw a post this morning on Facebook and realizing what I've got in my hands. I didn't realize these were such a hot, hot bloodlines. I, I know Daisy, that was that bitch out of, uh, out of uh, Arrow and Rocks, and Daisy was hell on wheels. And the breeder that I got these from is uh, back in Virginia, and his nephew is doing a lot of the R&D, and they're working together out of Chicago. Paws and Jaws, I think is the name of his business, Paws and Jaws. But uh, I saw a really cool uh, thread this morning with uh, Dozel over in France, Holland, excuse me, Holland, Denmark, wherever the heck he's at, I'm not sure, but... I saw Rico, the father, with another dog, a six-month-old, he's working. And I'm impressed. I'm impressed by virtue of I know who's who, and they know their bloodlines real well. So that being the case, I right away went, wait a minute, what do I got here? You know, I was, I was you know, after the Daisy bloodlines because I want to get, rocks is going to get fixed. I'm not going to breed her again. She didn't do well that last breeding. So I'm going to have to wait and then... Uh, with the bloodlines coming out of Daisy, that and then now Rico, this is going to be a hot little litter, and I'm going to keep that female for my blood bloodlines. So this guy is available at this point in time. Who knows? I may fa fall in love with a little sucker, and he may not be in available too much longer. But who knows? <laughs> so if, if you want him, speak up now because he may. I may change my mind depending on what he shows me. Right? Good. Good. So I've been playing with with, uh, with Jazzy because I know I'm going to keep her and I haven't had much attitude with him. It's not that I've been bad, but just I haven't really had enthusiasm, right? So I'm going to go down to Tractor Supply today and carry them into the store so I don't have to worry about them being in, in harm's way because they're not totally old enough yet. Usually it's about 12 weeks of age, 16 weeks of age that you start taking them out. 12 weeks is what I usually do. When I know they got to... One before the last shot. Last shot's about 16 weeks of age. And so I feel pretty safe at about 12 weeks of age. And I don't want to miss any development. So at about 12 weeks, I'll start going out. But uh, I think they're old enough now. I can carry them down there. And i got to get myself a harness. Because I want to start... Ouch! Damn it, you little shit! There's that dang sore on the top. And he nailed it every time. Something about the way I hold my hands. and put my knuckle right in their face. So, um... This is boring right now to you guys because it's the same thing I've been doing. But remember, repetition, pattern, again and again and again. We'll do this stuff thousands and millions of times. So for you at home, this is probably boring because I'm doing the same thing I've been doing the last three or four days. And it won't change too much until I get to another development stage or I'm looking for something else in the puppies. But I want to get those harnesses to see how they do in the, the bite work. And I'll start getting other people to help me. I usually don't let anybody play with my puppies when they're young. Because I'm after a certain certain thing. And I trust myself. But I don't trust many people. And if I do, it's going to be a couple, two or three people that I trust. That are Schutzen trainers mainly. Working with that back of the mouth. And they're very kind and giving to puppies. Um, very selective. You won't touch my babies until they get old enough. that I know they've got the tenacity to drive through any mistakes that somebody might make. And these guys will have all that, obviously. So we're going to find out how it goes. Right now, I'm just kind of... He's got a different brain flow. He, uh, a little bit more spastic than the female. The female seems like she's got a more of a settled mind. He's more drivey, which isn't bad. That's, you know, male, female. She's just a different critter. And uh, he... Uh, I'll stop and start paying a little bit more attention to what he's giving me. Yep. And I'll take him down there and get some harnesses for him today. Maybe hopefully if they've got some nice little small puppy harnesses, those little cloth harnesses, so that somebody else can handle them and hold them as I'm doing the sack work. I won't let anybody else, like I said, touch my puppies. And I want to see what their development is, how they're acting. And we want a, not a, uh, a reactive dog. We want to end up kind of raising the law enforcement type of dogs that basically they're activating you that kind of mental attitude right so you don't all that bouncing around and going crazy they don't dogs like this don't need it 
Um, it's not something I need to stimulate the dog. They have, they've got it all in their genetics. And so we will do that. Uh, a little bit more di different work. We'll probably head down to my buddy's place, the Schutzen trainer that I respect. He's an all-around good trainer. Ted Bellmeyer, let him start helping me with him a little bit. That's a little bit of a drive for me. I think uh, anybody that's at my age and stuff, we all have a tendency to want to get our own places. We won't have to travel because we, we travel so many so much. When we're younger, we go everywhere trying to learn and grow. And so that's just kind of part of cutting your teeth when you're a young young person getting into the dogs you, you you go anywhere you need to to get to that talent as you get older you want to stay at home you don't want to go anywhere because you're tired you let people come to you so i'm kind of what i want to try to build up and get some people coming out here um, we've got a lot of potential with this piece of property so we're going to work on it i think i'll get a hold of lou Lou Williams, Lewis Williams with uh, Black Mask. He's down the way from me, and me and him get along. We go back 20, 30 years, so I'm going to probably get together with him a lot more as we build into our stuff up here because he's somebody I respect and been doing dogs forever, and we we understand how each other thinks, right? We're the OGs, the old dogs, versus all that young mental attitude of bad mouth and backstabbing, smack talk, all the bullshit the young people will do. And I want to stay away from that. I'm just tired of it. I want to build my own group, build my own my own little castle up here and start just doing my thing. Kind of think of Bart Ballone. A lot of the stuff he's coming up with over the years is all about him being way out in the boonies and saying to hell with the community and doing his own work. And that's how he learned so much. And I kind of think of myself in that way. I'm going to probably do the same type of thing. And uh, get people to come out here. I've got a seminar coming up in january with justin rigney and uh, eric good that's going to really be a good one power biting i don't know who i'm going to take i got buddy listed on the paperwork for right now but i don't know i either be buddy or joker but main reason is not because i'm trying to kill the world and go out and compete or do anything in specific but the knowledge the juices of all the people that are going to be there oscar will probably be there it's his place we're going to a lot of uh the old dogs, people that really have a lot, a little bit more knowledge base and uh, communication in regards to um, what we're doing, what we're into, you know, all that stewing in those juices of uh, quality knowledge. So it's just a different crowd. Yep, good dog, good. Yep. Good. Just back and forth, you notice what I'm doing here. Uh, have, I need to do more of the click to get his brain understanding that clicks bring in the food, right? And a little bit of a pause there that gives brain the time to catch up to the click and then food's coming, right? We're classically conditioning. Yep. Good. About what same thing a female was showing me yesterday. We're at the same plateau. I'm not going to push too much past this right now. I'm going to be in regards to environment. That's what I'm kind of waiting for. They get old enough, I can start taking them out public because it's all about people, places, things, and building that confidence that I'm telling you about. And then the agility aspect of things, I've got to wait for their body to catch up where they have more body size. They can jump onto things and over things. Remember, at this age and even all the way for a, a little bit, you got to be really cautious of all these soft bones. They're, they're growing so fast. Everything's soft. You start letting them jump <laughs> <laughs> and my trailer and they jumped off the steps onto the ground that's a three foot drop and right away they didn't hurt themselves but i right away start thinking i can't have that happening every day every day where they're jumping into that three foot and going boom on these soft little bones right so i gotta slow down a little bit even though they'll give it to me good boy all right let's see if i can get him to watch another hand it's to see how he's watching the right because I'm doing so much for the food. you got to make sure you balance it. I think that's what I'll work on today with a bitch. Making sure that I balance my hand, delivery hand, so they start getting used to Because I need them over here too. You do it too much on one side, you end up with a dog that... Yeah, there you go. I should have had a clicker on that one. Let me uh, keep that up. Oop, there's already there. Dang it. I usually hold my clicker here, my leash here, and this is on, on when I go to the other hand. So let me practice with the left hand for a while so that he gets a little bit of left hand delivery. And the yapper's going. 
All right, Mark Fresh Pro Tech Dog Training with No Name. I'll have uh, the bitch out here in a little bit. Jezzy. Jezebel. Jezebel. I'm tying that in with classical conditioning, guys. All right, let me sign off with him. I'll work him a little bit more and then uh, get out Jezebel. Mark Fresh Pro Tech Dog Training with the Rico Daisy Puppies. This is a hot litter. I didn't realize how good of a litter this was until I saw a thread this morning with uh, the gentleman over in Holland that had a Rico puppy that he's working. It's obviously out of his bloodlines. I was happy with it. Talk to you later.